This is CARDI, the Caribbean Agricultural Research and Development Institute, the Caribbean's premier institution of its kind. This institute evolved from the Regional Research Center of the University of the West Indies in 1974, a product to satisfy the desire by regional governments for an adequate agency for research and development of food and agricultural needs of the Caribbean community. After some of the countries became independent and so on, um, a lot of, the, a lot of the, 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 the countries had already had the larger territories, that is, like Jamaica, um, Trinidad and Tobago, Guyana, you know, they had research institutions as part of their ministries of agriculture. And, and so there was a need to look after the smaller territories. And that is, that's what gave birth to the, regional, to the um, Caribbean Agricultural Research and Development Institute, CARDI. Spanning 12 English-speaking Caribbean territories, CARDI has grown into a reliable source of leadership on a wide range of innovative and scientifically sound initiatives. What we hope to do is to, to make CARDI really and truly the preferred regional research and development institute in the, in the region. We're going to build on the gains that we've made in 2008 to 2010. And in doing this, we will help to uh, enable the, the region to alleviate the key binding constraints within the Jack Dewey Initiative. As you know, there are nine key binding constraints within the Jack Dewey Initiative. And CARDI has responsibility, particularly for one that is our culture research. Through the years, CARDI has established itself as a reliable partner in the food and agriculture sector in the areas of farming systems, livestock production, post-harvest technology, and crop germplasm improvement, with the most recent achievement in hot peppers. The CARDI Regional Hot Pepper Program began in 1980 and produced two important varieties, West Indies Red and CARDI Green and we also established a breeding station in Barbados. Then we focused in, on the work in Trinidad and Tobago, where we collected all the hot pepper land races, purified and stabilized them, and started producing commercial seed. We also produce uh, seed for Moruga Red, and we will start now to produce seeds of all the other pure lines, including the Seven Pod and the Scorpion, which are the hottest pepper in the world. One aspect of the value chain is production of seed. And Cardi has had a long history in this area, production of, of hot pepper seed. Last year, we went another step in developing an agreement with Caribbean Chemicals to allow us to produce seed and market it throughout the region and abroad. This is a major effort for Cardi. In October 2010, Caribbean Chemicals and Agencies Limited were very fortunate to sign an agreement with Cardi. Uh, where it allowed Caribbean Chemicals the opportunity to take the, the valuable seeds and the seed bank that Cardi has created over the last 15-20 um, years of hot peppers in, indigenous to Trinidad and the Caribbean and take that opportunity to move it into the rest of the world. So we signed an agreement which allowed us the opportunity to market in the tropical band around the world the hot pepper seeds uh, that uh, Cardi has developed uh, and grown for the tropical region. But Trinidad's scorpion pepper has just been voted the hottest pepper in the world. So we already have a brand. Everybody in the world knows about Trinidad peppers. It's a co-branding packaging, meaning Cardi's brand and our brand are on the packaging. And we have a royalty program with Cardi. Yes, we expect it to be profitable, not only for our companies, Cardi and, and Creamy Chemicals, but for the country, because it's proudly stamped product of Trinidad, product of Grenada, product of Antigua, product of Jamaica. Wherever the seeds are going to be grown, it's probably going to, it's going to be stamped as a Caribbean sourced product. Cardi's intervention in sweet potato in particular. Cardi had this IPM CRIS program that looked at managing pests and disease in, in sweet potato, which started in, which was managed from Jamaica, but it encompassed a number of islands. We had successful interventions in managing pests and diseases. 
Then Cardi was involved in the Japan CARICOM project, which evaluated regional sweet potato varieties as to their suitability for processing. And the work was done at the University of the West Indies lab. That information is available so that processors could use the varieties in their particular island to improve their, their, their processing you know, ability. Cardi has focused over the last several years on two key areas of small ruminant development. One is animal genetic resources, where we have looked at using improved livestock breeds to upgrade local stock so as to improve meat quality. And the other is forage-based feeding systems. And this is designed to reduce costs at the farm level, to deliver a higher level of nutrition to our local stock and an improved stock so that we can have better uh, meat and, and milk products. The Institute has also developed into a reliable provider of commercially viable solutions in the areas of crops, livestock, natural resources management, emerging issues, invasive species, protected agriculture, market development, and information and communications within the technical services program. The technical support services of CARDI provides technical services to CARDI staff as well as its clients and stakeholders. The services are provided in the areas of biometrics, market demands and requirements analysis, information and communication technologies, as well as research and development coordination. Our clients include stakeholders from the Ministries of Agriculture, University of the West Indies, University of Trinidad and Tobago, University of Southern Caribbean, as well as NAMDEFCO. For the way forward for the Technical Support Services Unit, we will continue to provide quality services to the Institute as well as its clients. In addition, we shall collaborate with the Scientific Office of the Institute to promote and entrench agricultural science, technology and innovation systems as a key platform for the implementation of CARDI's work programs. CARDI has also contributed to the development of innovative feeding systems participated in addressing important soil and water management issues, and provided leadership in the promotion of integrated pest management for endemic and invasive species. Invasive species impact the ecology of Caribbean countries, as well as the economic and social well-being of Caribbean people. CARDI has been involved in the management of invasive species for decades. And this has been both at the national level and the regional level in terms of developing IPM strategies for several of these species. With respect to Trinidad and Tobago, in collaboration with key partners, the Institute has been involved in developing an integrated pest management strategy for the red palm mite. Linkages have been made with the Government of India through the local High Commission in terms of identifying an expert to assist with the implementation of the strategy. Calories is one of those leafy vegetables. It's a vegetable amaranth. It is attacked by a number of leaf feeders. And because calories is eaten for its leaves, it's presented in the market with its leaves. The fact that it's being chewed into by all of these various types of pests and also some pathogens that um, affect the leaves, um, farmers would basically employ chemical control. Additionally, CARDI is an important part of proactive regional interventions on a number of new areas of work. In the fields, CARDI has been continuously promoting farming practices which will help farmers to achieve optimal plant growth. In support of the thrust regionally, to use production technologies that can assist in achieving food and nutrition security goals, CARDI has expanded its protected agriculture program. Specifically, our program seeks to generate, validate and demonstrate technologies that span the value chain. Within the program, we're looking at areas of media, varieties, integrated pest management and developing ventilation systems. Capacity building is yet another component of the program and here we seek to train producers and other key stakeholders as well as develop information products that can improve the knowledge and skill of stakeholders within the industry. 
new varieties of tomatoes as well as um, broccoli, cauliflower and some varieties of tomatoes from Taiwan. So in a sense, whatever success I, I have achieved over the years, I've, I owe a lot of that to the input from Kaki. In fact, I think we had seven different varieties. Kennebayo, Flimbite, Belep, um, Kabusa, and a few others. I had a trial. Um, primarily, they were yams that could grow without the normal sticking because, you know, we have a traditional thing of sticking yams. And I grew them, they did very well, but I've noticed over a period of time that when I leave them without sticking with the high rainfall area, especially in my area, it develops a lot of um, fungus diseases, anthracnose, and so on and so forth. So I decided um, to try using that method of sticking and I have been growing more of a particular variety. CAD is a scientific institution, so we're always looking for better ways to grow crops, better ways to feed animals. And what we need to make sure that we do, if we test some new treatments, we need to find out that we're testing the new treatments and not, for example, finding out that one part of the field, the crop grows better than the other. So when we're, we have to take all this into account, so that's what biometricians do. They help to make, ensure that the scientists' experiments really test what the scientists are trying to test. It has also partnered with innovators in developing a variety of new technologies and has focused its concerns on the promotion of greater food security in the region. The CARICOM region has endorsed the strategy to be 25% food and nutrition secure by 2015. CARDI's role is to enhance the produ productivity of crops and livestock so as to be able to achieve this target. To do this, CARDI has embraced a new approach to its conduct of research and development that allows for involvement of our participants and our clients in a, in a total participatory approach. CARDI has also embraced new issues, for example, climate change, value-added, organic agriculture, and agroenergy. As the region seeks to ensure that its peoples could have access to locally produced, safe and nutritious food, Cardi's contribution is unparalleled in both traditional and emerging areas, such as climate change and agroenergy.